I'm going to show you a technique that has been working really well for me this winter time when it comes to putting more fish in the boat, and that is using a weightless jerk shad. Now, typically this technique is used in the springtime whenever the water temperature is up a little bit, but during the right times of the winter, this can be a really effective technique to help you catch a lot more fish. Now, the reason why this lure works so well is because one, it helps us with a situation that a lot of anglers face in the wintertime, and that is fishing too fast. That is one of the number one reasons why people struggle in the wintertime is they're fishing way too fast. This actually gives you a visual clue of you fishing way too fast. With a weightless jerk shad, it will move up to the surface. And if you see it at the surface, that's not where these fish are going to be. They're going to be down below at the bottom. So we need to make sure and slow down. This is something that you put long pauses in. It has a slow fall. So that way it works its way down to the bottom. Another reason this works very well is during the fall, this has a very slow descent and it looks just like a stunned or a dying bait fish. And even a lethargic fish, if you put this close enough to them, it's hard for them to resist something that looks just like this. And it's dying. Now one word of warning when it comes to using a lure like this is it has to be made out of the right material. It has to be plastisol and not TPE. What the TPE material is, is that's like the Z-Man Elastec. There's nothing wrong with that material. The problem is when you're using weightless, it's going to float. It never will sink. So a regular plastisol lure, like the ones that we have at our Slam Series and our Jerk Shad, a Mirror Lure, Little John, a Zooms, just to name a few, those are made out of plastisol and that's going to give you the sink rate that you want on a weightless hook. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go right to a video and I'm going to show you how I'm retrieving this lure in the winter time, but make sure and hang out afterwards for a special offer that I have for people that are having problems catching fish in the winter. Okay, so here's the rig right here. This is a five inch jerk shad that is rigged on a weightless hook. That is an extra wide cap worm hook like you'd use for uh, Texas rigging and bass fishing. Uh, these are the Gamagatsu 4 odd is the size that I'm using. So I'm gonna show you the retrieve real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and cast this out here. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm working this in the winter time. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cast it out there. I'm gonna let it sink down to the bottom and then I'm gonna let it rest for a little bit, make sure it's getting all the way down to the bottom. I'll pick up my slack just a little bit and then I'm gonna give it a couple of twitches. And then I'm gonna let it sit. Now, if you notice, my twitches aren't very aggressive and my rod tip is pointing down. Even if I was on a kayak or a boat, you wanna have your rod tip down for this situation because you don't wanna move that lure too far off the bottom. In the wintertime, these fish are gonna be down towards the bottom, so you wanna keep your lure there. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a couple more twitches and then I'm gonna let it sit. I'm gonna let it rest down on the bottom. Uh, let it give it three, four, five seconds, then give it a couple more twitches just like that. Uh, again, not very aggressive uh, twitches. You wanna keep that lure as close to the bottom and put these long paws in there. Now, when you're working the lure, you want to make sure and keep your eye on the line. If you see any kind of twitch or any kind of movement that doesn't look normal, go ahead and set the hook because you could probably get a bite. In the wintertime, a lot of times your bites are going to be really, really soft and you might not feel them. So make sure and keep your eye on the line itself. So in case you were unfamiliar with how to Texas rig a lure, this is the setup right here. This is the jerk shad. This is my hook. It is a Gamagatsu 4 odd extra wide gap worm hook. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with this relative backwards of the lure. This is the top of the lure and this is the bottom of the lure. So we're going to start in this position. I'm going to take that hook point. I'm going to bury it in the head of the lure just like that. And I'm going to stop it right when I get to that turn. I'm going to take the hook point. I'm going to push it through the bottom of the lure. And then I'm going to push that lure up the shank of the hook. And then right when it gets to this zigzag right here, this is the thing that actually keeps the lure from sliding down the hook. But right when I start pushing that, I'm also going to twist the hook backwards. So there's the there's the turn right there and I'm going to turn the hook as I'm pushing forward and basically I'm going to bury that eye of the hook into the lure itself. Now when it comes to putting the hook point in the lure, what I like to do is rest my thumb right there where that back of that hook is going to be. So when I go to put the hook point through the lure, I'm going to insert it right where my thumb is at and then what I'm going to do is as it comes out the back of the lure, I'm going to make sure it goes through the center of the back as close as possible and that way I'm going to make sure it runs true when it goes through the water. So that is the setup right here. You can take the extra step and then take the and bury that hook point in the plastic and it becomes very weedless at that point. So that's the rig right there. 
Now with any technique, there's going to be times that you want to use them and times that you don't want to use them. When it comes to the weightless jerk shad, you want to use it during a warming trend. So you want to have a couple of days of a warming trend, let that water temperature start to increase. Those fish are going to move up shallow and that's a perfect time to use the weightless jerk shad. And as far as depths, that's an important thing too. You don't want to fish deep, at least three foot. That's the maximum that you're going to want to fish with this, but preferably shallower. I like using this in two feet or less when those fish are pushed up really shallow. Now, also, I do prefer sunny skies, but I have done well with them during cloudy skies. But the most important thing is you need a couple of days of warming weather to heat that water up a little bit to get these fish pushed up shallow. So the times that you don't want to use this lure is whenever you have a cooling trend. Whenever there's a cooling trend, these fish are going to find deeper water. So you need something that's got some weight to it that's going to get the lure down to the bottom where those fish are. A weightless lure is not the time to do this. So you want to make sure the only time you're using this is whenever the temperature is going up whenever it's a warming trend. Another time that you're not going to want to use this lure is whenever the wind is up. If the wind is up, this lure is really light and there's not going to be much resistance. So what happens is you will get a bow in your line. Whenever you get a bow in your line, you're not connected to your lure anymore. You won't be able to fill your bites. And also that bow is going to cause this lure to rise up in the water column. And in the wintertime, that's the exact opposite of what we want. In the wintertime, we want that lure down towards the bottom. So during windy times, definitely try something that's got some weight to it and don't go weightless. So on warming trends, going with a weightless jerk shad in shallow water can be a really productive way of putting some fish in the boat, but make sure you're fishing it at the right time. Speaking of the time, winter can be one of the most difficult times of the year for some people to catch fish. And a lot of times people think that if they change a lure or they change a tactic, that's going to make all the difference in the world. But truth be told, most of the time, the reason why you struggle in the winter time is because you're fishing in the wrong place at the wrong time. Here at Salt Strong, what we want to do is we want to help you catch more fish. That's our number one goal. And what we have at Salt Strong is we have a four-pronged approach. The first one is going to be to make sure you're fishing in the right spots. So we have technology called Smart Fishing Spots that tells you the places that you need to be fishing. The next one is going to be our Insider Community, which has up-to-date reports of the areas that you are fishing by people that are fishing in your area. And we have 50,000 members that are in the community. And we have a lot of reports that are coming through on a daily basis so you get up-to-date information. This helps out tremendously. The next one is going to be our educational videos. We literally have thousands of videos that will answer just about any question that you have when it comes to inshore fishing. So we have a vast wealth of knowledge when it comes to inshore fishing so you can get the answers right away. And lastly, we have a tackle store where the inventory has been vetted out. So no longer do you have to go to the box store and go through this large aisles of lures to figure out if this is going to work for you. If we have it in our tackle store, then it's something that we use personally and it's something that's successful so you know that it works. Plus our insiders get discounts off of this tackle. Right now we have a special offer where for $10 a month you can have access to all of this information. Plus what we'll do is we're going to give you a welcome package that's valued at $50. It's going to come with some lures and some rigging hooks that we use personally that's going to help you catch more fish along with some other items. And we have an easy cancellation policy. If this is not a right fit for you, we're not going to make you jump through hoops. It's easy to cancel. We hope you don't cancel, but if you decide to, you get to keep the welcome package anyway. So you really don't have much to lose and a lot to gain. I really do believe we can help you put more fish in the boat this winter. So to get the $10 a month deal plus the free welcome package, the link is in the video details. So that's the video. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. And as always, I really do appreciate you watching. Now go get them. Have a great day. Bye.